besties. So what I'm going to be making today is a movie theater box of candy. So what I want to do is start with my template, which I did purchase from Essie. And I am going to make this box 9 inches by 9 inches. Okay. And then I'm going to take this uh, gray square that I inserted. And I'm also going to make this 9 inches wide. But I want it at about 8.75 inches down. I want it to be slightly smaller. And I'm going to move this to the front. Okay. So now that I have those two taken care of, I'm going to select these two together and I'm going to slice it. Okay. And then I will delete everything that I don't need. The only thing I should be left with is this, and then I will make this 6.75 by 9.25. Okay, so then you'll go here to your control panel, you'll change this to a print, and then you can choose a pattern, or you can choose a solid color, whichever you prefer. I'm going to choose these polka dots. Okay. And then I'll go go in and add all the images that I like. So I'm just going to make this pretty simple. Now I did the score lines. So all you have to do basically is make one score line down this side, duplicate it for this side, and then make one score line across this side area and then duplicate it four times and that'll give you the lines that you need okay so I will go ahead and and also one thing to remember is once you get your score lines the way you want them attach it that way you can move it around move it off your project and you're not you don't have to worry about messing it up so before you move your score lines over you're gonna select everything together and then flatten Okay, and then you will go in and put your score lines over, move it to the back, and then you'll have all your score lines there. You're going to go to make it, and then you have your project here. So it will tell you here, print score cut, and so I'll click continue, I'll send to printer. And then I am going to go to advanced options. I'm going to go to preferences. I'm going to choose cardstock, high quality, and then OK. And then I'll press print here. And here I will go to 80 pound cardstock. And then and then continue from there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this put together. So as you can see here, it did make the score lines. And then I just go ahead and fold on the line. Because if you try and do this sometimes while you're assembling, it will kind of get bent up. So and like lopsided so I've, I've learned to just kind of do a quick fold and I am going to tape on this side because this is the side that is actually going to be out so I'm gonna go ahead and run my tape down hold that in and then attach right here. Okay. 
and then you will fold in this way. And you want this, you're actually going to glue on this, I mean tape on this side. Um, I should have put this tape on there before. And then fold it in between the little, the other little piece. And then just press. Okay, so now you have your box, and then you can put all the treats that you want in there. And then even little toys, little trinkets, or whatever you decide. I'm gonna give that a little bit of time to dry and then we'll look at the final product. So this is how it came out. As you can see, very sturdy. This is the side that I glued. This is, you know, the side that I taped. Overall, you know, if I had the choice and I had the time, I'd choose gluing it. That way you know it's secure and it glue goes a long way. Whereas, you know, for these tape gun things, you do have to pay for the refills. Uh, otherwise, I got this cardstock from Michaels or Joann's. It's 65 pound cardstock. I cut it at 80 pound on the Cricut. And yeah, it's just a pretty simple project and you can customize it to as fancy as you like. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. Peace and love.